Greetings and welcome back to yet another episode of After Plus Lua modding tutorials and in today's video I'm going to show you how we can add items to the item pools. So how do we do it? First of all, when we have our new item, let's go in our modding folder and open the content folder and in there you're going to find two XML files. In the items.xml is actually going to be your item, so your description of the item, your name of the item, and then you have to create a new XML file called itempools.xml. And in this file, we actually tell the game in which item pool to put the item in. So you can see that here I put a new pool called treasure, which corresponds to the treasure item pool. And the second line is actually which item corresponds to that pool. So in this case, the name is obviously the same as the name in the items.xml. It has to be the same, otherwise the game won't know which item we're actually trying to add. The second parameter, weight, is actually how frequent that is going to be. Usually items have one, but I put it to a 100 just to make it very likely to actually appear in game as I will reroll that item. The decrease by is essentially by how much it decreases every time we see that item. So if I put something like one, that means that the item will appear only once in the item pool, but if you put something like 0.5, that means that the item will appear two times in the item pool, or at least I'm pretty sure that's how it works. And remove on is essentially at which point, at which breaking point are we removing this item from this particular pool. And so this is just one of the item pools that exist called treasure. There's a bunch of others and you can see that we have the shop, the boss, the devil, and essentially the structure is the same. What you would do is just take the item name and put it in the corresponding item pool where you wanted your item to appear. Of course, if you want your item to appear in multiple pools, then you would just copy this and just paste it in a few more depending on which pool you want it to appear in. So that is actually it. These are all the pools I'm gonna upload in this, you can find in the description. But if you want more of a reference, then go to your content folder uh, in, in the binding of Isaac Rebirth, open up resources, and then find itempools.xml. And this is actually all of the information about the items that already exist in the game. So maybe if you don't know which weights to put or which uh, decrease by or parameters to put, here you have a few examples which you can actually use to make your items appear as frequently as all of the other. So now that we have that, let's hop into the game. I'm going to show you if that item actually appears in the treasure room. Welcome to the game. So I found myself a treasure room, I've given myself the D6 and infinite uses, and because the weight of my item is 100, that means it should be about 100 times more likely to appear. So when we start re-rolling, you can expect to see it in a few re-rolls. So let me just go do it, and it should appear eventually, and there it is. There we have our new item called Telekinesis, and what this item does essentially, whenever you walk into a room, it deals damage to every enemy in the room for four times, but in the meantime, you actually lock down. So let me just show you that this actually works, and this is not some visual trick that I'm pulling down on you and of course as I speak this we, we aren't going to find anything but as you can see the item works you know and we deal damage every enemy in the room and that's it and this is basically how you add items to the item pool it was very simple it was a very short video but hopefully it did get the point across so this was the end of this video and this was probably the shortest tutorial video on this channel but because so many of you requested to see how to actually add items to the item pool, I figured that I would show it in a separate video because I can't really fit it in anywhere else. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope to see you next time.